Oh my gosh, so slow. Looks like it's working though. Hey! Uh, hey, what's up? What's happening? It's Thursday. Super late, 6.53 p.m., 77 degrees outside. Cooling down, finally. Actually, it didn't get that hot today, but the humidity has been awful. But it's finally starting to, this, these are the dew points. So it should be nice and comfortable tomorrow. What is with my hair? It's just not. Some of it's just not. It's, all, it's taking on a life. It's going where it wants to go. Let's see. It doesn't help that this isn't a mirror, so everything I do is. As I look at myself on the. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Perfect. So you can see I was dressed for the best, prepare for the worst. But it looks like nothing's going to change right away. There are some changes coming to technical support, but I don't know if they involve me yet or not. I'm going to go on the assumption that they don't. The thing about working here is if there's bad news, generally you will get it dumped on you. They won't wait till the last minute to spring it on you. So having heard nothing, I'm going to take that as a good sign that there's no bad news and that I will continue Keep on, keep on keeping on. Confident enough to waste nearly two hours upgrading from Office 2007 to Office 2010. I hope when it's done, the Outlook will be less buggy than it is now. I have to run a Google app, Google Calendar Sync to get all my appointments into my phone from Outlook. And between that and the fact that I have gigs and gigs of mail that I have hoarded and shunted off into various folders and filters and whatnot to keep Enterprise Vault from taking it from me. It never seemed like Outlook 2007 quit cleanly. Or if it did quit cleanly, it would get kicked off overnight and not quit cleanly then because Google Calendar Sync would do its thing and it would start and then it would never stop and it was just getting really annoying. So I have to deal with another user interface change that totally sucks and was done solely to allow someone at Microsoft to draw a salary. First thing you do after you upgrade is you spend hours and hours trying to undo all the new features that they think you need but which you were living just fine without. Kind of like Firefox. Firefox 14 came out, had to spend half an hour trying to make it look like Firefox 13, which really means I was trying to make it look like Firefox 3. Ah, uh, I'm boring myself. I can even see now that there's some lag happening because the first thing you do when you run Outlook is it optimizes everything. So now it's going through all my gigs and gigs of mail and optimizing them. Fantastic. And you can just you can just see the entire laptop just slow to a crawl. Because even though it's a quad core, it only seems like one CPU can be used at a time. Ugh, golly. But enough about that. Let's talk about Food! Why not? I had some lime ramen today. Mmm. Tasted like lime. No, it didn't. It was your basic, I guess it's the basic shrimp flavor, even though they don't call it that, with plenty of little shrimp. And it was fine. I took an Instagram of it just because the concept of lime ramen is so amusing to me. And I put it on Twitter and Facebook. And I got a Facebook comment, uh, let me look it up because it's on my phone, from my coworker Scott, who probably does not watch these. So I probably shouldn't even mention it. But he had some ramen alternatives to suggest. And I think that he missed the point of it, which is that it is a 28 cent meal. 28 cents, man. Come on. I'm not going to get some fancy imported authentic ramen. 
I'm going to pay 28 cents. I'm going to get a styrofoam cup, which is probably terribly bad for the environment, but keeps my hands from burning when I put boiling hot water in it. So now I'm down to 22. So I have had ramen every day since I brought it in. Will I tomorrow? Will I tell you if I do? It depends how hard up I am for content, I guess. Twitter is down today for hours. So, well, not bored, but confused. What do I do? There's no Twitter to look at. Should I do something? Should I do actual work? There was a lot of not doing actual work while we waited for whatever announcements that were coming down to come down. We had an all-hands meeting today. Our CEO seems like a really nice guy. I wish him nothing but the best, mostly because I want the stock to go up. And the stock has gone up two days in a row. Hey, it ain't nothing. Let me pull up the board. I don't think anybody actually said anything, but I'd like to confirm that. Is there anything I should have been saying to you? We're down to about a dozen of you watching this, I think. And you guys that are still watching it, you're hardcore. You're really interested in whatever boring crap I'm throwing at you. Or maybe I'm just entertaining enough to... Uh, let's not go crazy. White bacon! Come on. Are we waiting for Outlook to complete something before we bring up the web page? Laptop? I'm amazed that there haven't been more stuttering. Oh, as I speak, there's one. 7 o'clock. I watched a mini marathon of Redneck Island. That's three people. Three people who've watched Redneck Island a few weeks ago while I was at work. Oh, well, watching it at work, that's hardly sporting, is it? It's just like any other reality show of that type except hosted by Austin. That should mean that it rules, right? He's not on the screen enough to make it worth going out of your way for. Well, that's disappointing. I will still try to keep an eye out. It's a, survi it's a survivor ripoff, right? Except it's Redneck Island, so presumably there's some redneck elements. I had a redneck earlier. I shaved wrong with my new shaver. Pardon me. Diet Cherry Pepsi today. So I did, I did my first grilling of the year. Usually I don't wait this long, but it had cooled off. It actually rained last night, so that kind of took the edge off. And it was still hot, but it was bearable. So I made burgers, really good burgers. And what did I make? I bought some corn, and we had grilled corn. Mmm. And it was good. I made like a produce run. So I got the corn and I got a couple uh, red onions. And I got these big thick slices of red onion and I put those on the grill too. They were great. So you had them on the burger. Uh, and I had mine with cheese and lots of mayonnaise. And it was great. I bought two and a half pounds of ground chuck because that was the size it came in. And it was on sale. So I used a pound to make burgers. That's four quarter pounders. Now I have a pound and a half left, and for the first time in my entire life, and this will surprise my brother that I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to make the family meatloaf recipe, which is really not much of a... I believe it's beef, alphabet soup, uh, some other thing, breadcrumbs, egg. I think that's it. And then you kind of, you kind of mash it all up, and then you uh, cook it, I think. I'm going to probably consult the internet and steal some recipe from there. And then you usually put 57 sauce on it, but we don't have any. But I have that British HP sauce, so maybe we'll try that. Uh, meatloaf. Haven't had meatloaf since I left my parents' house, probably. Wow. Really? Yeah. My brother used to make a uh, pretty good meatloaf on the family recipe, though, I believe. I don't know why I would know that, because I don't think he ever made it for me. Or did he? But he had refined the recipe, but I don't know a thing about it. So I'm going to try it. That's the excitement for tonight. Kim's working super late, so i got like a couple hours to like futz around with this stuff. First, got to get out of here. And it's after 7, and there's really no reason for me to be sticking around. So thank you for watching. We will close out tomorrow. 
Uh, that is my 10 minutes, and I'm CRZ. Good night.